Hey everybody, it's Lisa Erickson. How are you doing? Um, the next video I want to talk about is affirmations. And um, what you're looking at is a picture of my fridge. And you can see up in the left-hand corner, it says, I will recruit Paul for leaders into my organization. So I want to talk to you about what I do um, with affirmations or little notes that I keep around my house when um, I first started building my team. And I want to talk to you about ones that I do now. So I read the book, The Secret, and it's a quick read. It's a fun little read. And it talks about putting things out into the universe and having affirmations and I kind of thought that it was um, poo-hoo-y or just not something that I have ever done in my life. And I read the book and I just start I start decided I would start doing that. So when I first joined Jamberry in November of 2011, um one of my biggest goals was to have a million dollar organization. And that was like a superstar goal. That was this milestone that happened, but I never really believed that it could until I changed my mindset of having a million dollar organization and that it is possible because my team kept growing and growing and growing. And obviously, because of recruiting, it kept building and building and building. And what I did was I wrote down an affirmation on a piece of paper. And it just simply said, I will have a million dollar Jamboree organization. It was that simple. I will have a million dollar Jamboree organ, organ, <laughs> organization slash team, right? And so I wrote that on a piece of paper and I would have it posted many different places in my home. So here's where I have things posted and I still do this today. So I wrote that down. I will have a million dollar organization and I put a piece of paper underneath my pillow. Okay. Um, sometimes it ended up on the floor. Sometimes it would be on my nightstand, but it was in my bedroom and it's kind of what I concentrated on and put out in the universe, prayed about, had it in my bedroom for when I went to sleep. Okay. I had that same note, wrote it again, and I posted it on my mirror. So I looked at it every morning brushing my teeth. Um, I posted it on my fridge. Okay. I go to my fridge a lot. I had it in my car. So I would look at that and in my car I would have it on my visor. So let's pretend I'm going to a party and I had that affirmation. I will build a million dollar organization. I would say it to myself over and over and over again. And every time I saw this affirmation in my house at different areas, it would just kind of speak to me. I would have a million dollar organization and I just kept reading it and started believing it and it started to happen. So I just really believe in these type of things because it's mindset. It's how we feel. It's what we are looking for in life. It's what we want. And so after that was accomplished, I mean, what an amazing milestone. I changed my affirmation to, I will recruit powerful leaders into my organization. Now, what is the difference between I will recruit powerful leaders into my organization instead of maybe an affirmation that says I will recruit five people this month. I will recruit a hundred people in a year. What, what was your goal or what is your goal? Why is mine I will recruit powerful leaders into my organization? Why is that? Because it's specific to what I want amongst my organization. 
I personally, Lisa Erickson, want to recruit powerful leaders into my organization. I don't have the mindset of, I want to recruit 100 people. I want to recruit five people. I have it broken down to, I want to find my ace in the deck. I'll do a video on that, um, finding your ace. But I want to recruit a powerful leader into my organization. I have that to this day all over my house. As you can see, this is on my fridge, okay? This is in my bathroom. This is in my car. This is kind of under my pillow, crinkled up on my nightstand, but it's there. And that is my affirmation that I will recruit powerful leaders into my organization. So if that is what you are wanting to do, I want you to have that mindset. I want you to write that down and post it everywhere that you um, go by or look at or that will cross your eye. Maybe you put it at your desk at work. Maybe it's on your fridge like mine. Maybe it's in your car. Maybe it's everywhere that you possibly want to post it. But number one, you're going to physically write it out and you're going to say that to yourself over and over and over and over again. Now, it's kind of ironic that on my fridge, I have a picture um, down here at the bottom. You can see that it's me and my leader, Zoe Pearson, out of the UK. And I have that picture on my fridge because she's one of my best Jamboree friends. She's a leader in my organization. And she sent me that gift, and so I just put it right there on my fridge because I love her. But let me talk a little bit about Zoe. So Zoe is a new um, a year old now consultant, but she's in the UK and she is a powerful leader in the UK. And whenever we opened somewhere, whether it be Australia, New Zealand, the UK, um, Mexico, I always wanted in my affirmation is one or two leaders in that area and help build her. And you know, it's quantity, no, sorry, quality over quantity. I did not want a hundred people in the UK. Okay, maybe I did, but I wanted them under one leader to be powerful. All my eggs in one basket to work with her. So over and over again, I will recruit powerful leaders into my organization. I just kept saying that. I kept looking for that. And you know what? That is Zoe. She is a powerful leader in the UK, and my affirmation came true, and I helped together build her team there, and I just want to share that with you, that that's what I put out into the universe, and when I am recruiting and when I talk to re potential recruits, I do say that. Um, I say, hey, Megan, you know what? I am looking for powerful leaders in my organization. I am looking to build a powerful leader. I kind of set that expectation out right away. I ask my team, who wants to do this full time? Who wants to be a powerful leader? It's just my mindset. Now, all the recruits between a hobbyist to a powerful leader, are there many in between? Of course there are. Not everyone we recruit are powerful leaders, but it's who they recruit that can be powerful leaders. And let's say you have someone who does it part-time and she starts building a team and she brings on someone who can be a powerful leader. We have to dig into our teams and we have to find that. But if you put that out into the universe that you want powerful leaders in your organization and that is your mindset, you're going to find some and you're going to find someone that you want to work with and you can start teaching her to have the mindset of we're looking for powerful leaders. And so some of you might think this is poo hooey and goofy, but you know what? This is what I do. And I'm trying to teach you things from my heart on what I do to help build my organization and help build and recruit. And one of those is... My affirmation is I will recruit powerful leaders into my organization. I also 
say a lot that my team will build powerful leaders into their organization. My new recruits will build and find powerful leaders into their organization. And so it's kind of in my mind, setting the bar higher, looking for those diamonds in the rough, asking the universe to bring those to me. And it's something that I do. So, you know, if your goal is to recruit five people, maybe that is your affirmation. But I challenge you to change it and to say to yourself that you will recruit powerful leaders into your organization and just give that a shot. And look, I'm dyslexic. I just noticed I uh, spelt recruit wrong on my little note that's been up there forever. But hey, that's who I am. So anyways, change your mindset and think that, that you will recruit powerful leaders into your organization. I challenge you to um, write that out and post it all over and send me a picture. Show me where you have put that affirmation. Put it on your fridge, snap a picture and show it to me. All right, this one was short and simple, but it's good. Powerful leaders, right? Okay. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.